Dr. Wong, it's so great to be here with you today. I wanted to start out with a quick question. What is a mission critical network and what is the role that industry and government play in making those happen? Yeah, by its name, mission critical means lives depend on it, our national security depends on it. And obviously governments are really putting a lot of emphasis, making sure that they're resilient to attacks, uh, especially from our adversaries. So we at Viavi, we're securing the networks for these operators uh, with our tools and technologies every day. Okay, so something we've been hearing a lot about at this show is satellites. So satellites are NTNs, right? Uh, maybe broaden that out a bit. What are non-terrestrial networks? And what role do positioning, navigation, timing systems play when it comes to those? Yeah, so interestingly, you know, for 3GPP, they call everything that is not a terrestrial a non-terrestrial network, right? So you can think of it as, of course, satellites, but also we call them HAPs or high aptitude uh, platforms. Also drones can be used as networks. Um, for us, we focus a lot on the satellite piece. We see that as one of the most uh, promising technologies to really provide global coverage, uh, as you can imagine. And we're seeing a lot of momentum towards providing direct-to-sell service from satellites. You know, a lot of announcements from operators recently, and we're doing a lot of that testing with vendors today. So, so we're pretty excited about the prospect of NTNs. Awesome. So one of the other things that uh, we know about is that reliability is key. So talk to me about service assurance. Talk to me about where that fits into the whole picture as it relates to mission-critical networks, NTNs. What do you have to say? Right. So for operators, of course, a lot of them need to continue to make money, right? And a lot of the assurance pieces are to make sure that their networks run smoothly, run with efficiency, right? And you couple that with the requirement of resiliency against attacks, you see this confluence of factors that make sure that they invest enough to make sure that their networks are going to be, again, robust to adversarial attacks, but at the same time be efficient enough so that they can continue to make money. And so that's a really important balance. Excellent. So one of the other things that I get to explore in my role uh, as a cloud and AI executive editor is quantum computing. That's been super fun for me. So talk to me about what that looks like in the context of mission critical networks and communications. How can we use quantum computing maybe to help ensure security for tomorrow? Yeah, so there's a lot of talk right now about quantum, you know, maybe in the next 10 years, some people say 15 years, we don't know. From our perspective, you know, the NIST has already come out with these algorithms to really make sure that we're prepared when that time comes. From a Viavi standpoint, we have post-quantum security tools today to really test out these networks, make sure that, you know, all these are prepared when that day comes. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time here on The Booth. Sure. Pleasure's mine.